clearly, if you're going to do this on paper, you're out of your mind. You've got to put this stuff in a database. And you've got to have a way of organizing it so that you're not like this all the time trying to figure out what's going on. Okay. So, we built a thing called the Track Manager. All the guys in my shop love to talk about the Track Look, folks, it's simple. It's basically a document management system. There's nothing exotic about the thing. I'm not going to say this is a wonderful software. No, no, no. What it is, is it's just the way that it's built. It's not what it is that's so extraordinary. All right. Now, here's what it looks like when you first open the thing up. Here's what happens. Over here on the left are a bunch of little numbers that are project numbers. Every company has got its own project number. And then you pick the project that you're interested in. Okay, then what happens is all of the documents that are associated with that project, which is one pipeline, appear. Okay, here are all of the documents. All right, now, you pick a particular document. Now, in this case, it's a deed, probably of one of the parcels that we crossed. That deed is here. You don't see, need to see all the little numbers. That, that deed is here. And what's down here are all the record documents, easements, rights of way, licenses, everything that affect that parcel. They're all here, okay? Now, here's actually one of the documents right here. It's a permission. One of the documents, permission for right of entry that we need for this survey. What's that? Well, remember what I said was not only are the deeds and etc. Also permission to survey, also schedules, also everything else. This is absolutely vital, particularly in an area like this. Don't go on that property unless you have the permission of the owner to be there. Now, this can change. So one of the things we've got, and you'll see this in the GIS at the very end of my presentation, we've got a green light in the center of each one of our parcels. If it's green, you can go. If it's red, don't you dare, right? Because, no kidding, people do show up with guns and say, get off my land. That happens. Of course it does. All right? And somebody can, and this has happened to us, somebody can give permission, right? You go, you ask, can we come on and do it? Yes, fine, go. But that's not the owner. That's the guy who's leasing the property. And then you show up, and in the meantime, the owner who lives in Timbuktu somewhere said, what do you mean they're serving? No, they can't do that, right? That kind of thing happens, and so that's why we've got this immediate notification. So that's a permission to survey. Oh, by the way, let me explain something. Where did all this stuff come from? We have our own dedicated abstractors. In other words, they aren't just sitting at the county. They're sitting at a computer terminal so that they've got a license, a subscription to be in the database that has all of the deeds, easements, etc. right? And so we have our own abstractors that are populating this thing, and I've also got a DBA, database administrator, that's administering this thing and make sure it's always current. You believe me, it's a full-time job. Okay, now, once the track manager selected the plat of the easement tab, and under this tab you can view plats. So you see here's deed, here's plat and easement, here's the exhibits. After we build the exhibits, we put them in this database. Plat and easement, meaning Subdivision plats, for example. These are individual deeds. These are like subdivision plats. All right? <clears throat> Here's an easement that goes across a subdivision plat that's for a water main. Clearly, it's important to know where that is. Now, if you select the Exhibit tab, here's the exhibit of, that we finally produced of the right-of-way, that we're, the easement that we're going to acquire going across this parcel. Now, I want you to notice something in this little picture. You can't see the letters, but that's all right. Notice that each one of these adjoiners, all of them, are noted with the owner, with the assessor number, and I will, I will tell you that the boundaries of each one of these are correct. This is vital. It's not just this property, it's all of the adjoining properties. Okay, here we have the alignment on the top of the parcels with this subdivision here. And all of this is stored digitally and databased. Research and drawings, deeds, easements, plats obtained through research are available and can be queried using their unique identifier by all members of the team, no matter where they are located. Now, why is that so important? Why is it important that all of this information is immediately available to all the users? Here's why. 
What happens is that the surveyors that we have go out into the field and they locate the property corners, right? Okay, along with the topography like fences and roads and etc. Creeks. All of that information is going to go into the database. Fine. Okay. Now, the parcels, as I said, are wrong. So, what our operators do in AutoCAD is that they're going to take that data that comes in from the field and they're going to make each one of the parcels correct according to the measurements that were taken in the field. Fine. That's part of it. But they also have to know what the deed says. They also have to know what the adjoiners say. I can't have them in this database, in this track manager thing, searching, 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 trying to find out the particular deed they're looking for or the easement. That defeats the whole purpose. They have to be able to be in AutoCAD, click on a link, and there's the deed. And that's the way it's built. So if they're working on a particular parcel and they're going around it with the surveying information, they click on a link, there's the deed, and there's all the adjoiners, and there's all of the easements. Yes, sir? Are your, uh, are your parcel maps stored as raster or are they digital? Good question. Okay, here's the answer. In terms of the document management system that I just showed, those are rasters. In terms of the AutoCAD work that I'm describing now, all vector. Good question. Thank you. Thank you for getting the ball rolling. And please, don't anybody be bashful. Ask. Okay. Now, the importance of this that I'm describing is that speed and efficiency is the reason for this. It's not because I think it's neat or isn't this a wonderful... No, it's speed and efficiency. So I have to have the AutoCAD operator be able to click on a link and get what he needs. Then when he's going around the measurement data, he also has the information about what the deed says. And I'll bet you everybody in the room knows that they're not going to match. Well, of course they're not going to match. There's no surprise to that. But the question is, then what do you do? And that's where the adjoiners come in and all the other information so that you can fit it together. And that's why I keep calling this a mosaic. Because I can make this parcel, let's say, work just beautifully with the deed and with the field information. But then when I come over here, maybe this one gives me trouble because it doesn't fit. So obviously I've got a, a, a jigsaw puzzle that I need to put together. Okay. The resulting exhibits and plats are also stored. In other words, the results of all of this are also stored in the database so that they can be accessed easily by everybody. Because, of course, what's going to happen, and this happens over half the time, is after you've got this built, the client tells you, no, I'm sorry, that's not where we want it. We can't have it on this side of the property, it's got to be on that side of the property. Well, the beauty of this arrangement is once that that happens, and it happens, as I say, over half the time, it's just simply really a matter of pick it up, put it over there, and you're done. And the reason is because this is already built. This is already rectified. It's already in the database. You don't have to go back and look for something. You put it over there. Okay, that's fine, you're thinking. If you're thinking along with me, okay, great. The guy put it over there. How does everybody else know? How does the guy in the field know or the, or the, or the, or the right-of-way agent know? because he gets a notice the minute that it happens. That's how he knows. Okay, all this information is essential to the production of the true boundaries involved in the project and the subsequent refinement into actual boundaries. Here's just an example of the AutoCAD drawing. And that link that I was talking about is right there. Click on the link and the, and the information pops up. Okay, as one works in the resolution process, there's always a place to record new information. Here's notes. You can't see what they said, but this one says need field locates and or 1262 underscore 877 for one. In other words, they don't have the necessary field information to rectify this electrical easement. That's what that's saying. So the guys that are operating and putting this together have a place to post what they need and why they're not being able to proceed on a particular, a particular one. And it gives a date as to when the note was 